Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can convert this mockup of a website that I created in Photoshop in HTML and CSS using Dreamweaver 2019. Alright, let's start. Okay guys, I create this wireframe using Photoshop. If you want to know how I did that, you can visit a video in this channel. I'm gonna put on the comment below the link. And also then I convert that wireframe on a mockup and I record another video that I'm gonna put on the comment below with different tips and tricks about how you can import images, how you can work with text and the layout. All right, but now the idea is to convert all these thing in HTML and CSS, all right? I'm gonna hide Photoshop one second, and this is Dreamweaver. I'm gonna hide Dreamweaver as well because I would like to show you the material first. Okay, here I have my wireframe and I have the mockup. I'm gonna put in the comment below if you want to download these files. And here I have the images. I download these images from the website pexels.com. I'm gonna put a comment below as well with all the links if you want to use the same images or if you want to use your own material. All right, the thing is, if you want to create a website, the first step that you have to do, you have to create a folder on the location that you want to save that website. In this case, I'm gonna put the folder on my desktop. So a new folder, and I'm gonna call this one, for example, Ski Web. Okay, here, if you see, I put Ski Web and I put a space between these two words. That is, is, is okay. But any element, okay, any folder or document that you will put inside this folder, do not use spaces. You can use, for example, underscore, but no spaces, because you will have problem with the links. All right, what I have to do, I have to put these images inside my root folder, okay? In that case, I'm gonna change the name and I'm gonna remove the keyword and I'm gonna save this one just as a images. And I'm gonna drag and drop this inside my ski web folder. If I open this folder, you can see the only folder that I have here is images. All right, now what I have to do, I'm gonna open Dreamweaver and I have to connect Dreamweaver with that particular folder. How you can do that? First, you have to go to the site menu and select new site. Here, I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna put, for example, Ski Web. The name doesn't matter, the name that you put there, but I prefer to name it with the same name of the folder, because then if I go to the all the website that I'm doing, okay, I can recognize which name is with which folder. All right, and then um, here I'm gonna select the root folder. You have to browse the folder with this icon. It's a small folder. I'm gonna go to my desktop and here I'm gonna select the ski web and then select just choose. By the way, if you have this in columns, for example, like this, and if you see the images folder inside, do not select the images folder. You have to select the principal folder, the root folder, which is this one, the ski web, not the image folder inside. Select choose and then you can see ski web, ski web is there and now select save. By the way, if you make a mistake, if you want to do any correction, you can go again to the site and instead new site, select manage site. Okay, and here you will see the ski web is there. Just click on this pen to edit and then you can do changes. All right, I'm gonna cancel and done. All right, and look at this, here on the right, I have the files panel in Dreamweaver. And here I can see the root folder and inside I have the images. If you click here, you can see all the images that you have inside. All right, what is the first step, okay? What do you need to convert that layout in HTML? First, what we need, we have to create a new document, okay? Select from here, create new, okay? There are many different parts that you can create new or just go to the file and select new. And here, double check, you have new document, HTML, non is selected and select create. This is the interface of Dreamweaver 2018. If you don't have experience in HTML, I recommend you to watch another video that I have in this channel is how you can work 
with Dreamweaver with basic HTML, okay? Because now I'm gonna, we are going to write code, but if you have no clue, you don't have experience, I recommend to watch that video first. Okay, one of the things that I would like to do first, I'm gonna change the layout of my Dreamweaver. Here on the top, you can see the design, and the, on the bottom, you can see the code but I prefer to change that. What I like to do, I'm gonna go here to the view menu. I'm gonna select here the split and I'm gonna select here split vertically. Why I do that? Because I like to see the code on the right and the page on the left. Okay? I'm gonna explain you why is that. I'm gonna go to Photoshop. When you design a website, it's pretty common that you will start designing the desktop view because you have in mind, all right, this is the how I'm gonna look the design with this banner, all these elements. But when you code, the good practice, you have to start with a phone view because everything is on just one order, is one element above the other one. Can you see this element, all this one is beneath, you have picture text, picture text. You don't have, pretty much, you don't have to lay out everything. It's just in one direction. And then if you stretch the website, then you can add exceptions, okay? For example, you can say, if my website is bigger than 500 pixels, I would like to show the images on this way, can you see? That's why first you have to start with the design view, okay, of the phone, and then you will add a section with media queries okay, using CSS in Dreamweaver, and we will do that, of course. All right, in that case, for me, it's okay if I see first the phone. Actually, I'm gonna stretch this like this. I'm gonna add more space for my code view. In addition, I'm gonna do something else. I would like to increase the fonts here, because this is small, I mean, for you guys, it's going to be much better if I increase the size. What I have to do, I'm gonna go to the Dreamweaver, Preferences, and here I have the preferences of font. And here on the fonts, I have the code view, and I'm gonna increase here to 14 point. By the way, if you want to open the preferences on PC, you will see the preferences here on the edit menu all the way down. On Mac, the preferences are here on the Dreamweaver menu. Okay, I have my HTML. If I click on HTML, you can see where the HTML starts and finish. Then I have the head, okay? If you remember, if you know, the head on the head is the information that you don't see, okay? Again, I have a basic HTML tutorial on this channel, all right? And I'm gonna start with the body. Here, I'm gonna put on the line eight, okay? My cursor is blinking there, and I'm gonna hit return. The first element that I would like to build, if I go to Photoshop, is going to be the page wrapper. It's going to be the general container of all my code, okay? In that case, I'm gonna put here a page wrapper. If you don't know how to code in Dreamweaver, I'm gonna start with a few basic things, okay? For example, if you want to put a div, okay, what you have to do is open the angle bracket, you have to type div, okay, and then close, and then you have to open again, and then backslash, automatically then we were gonna finish typing that, all right? And whatever you type here is going to be the, again, okay, here is going to be the content of that div, all right? And then if you want to add a class, okay, or ID, you have to put the mouse there between the V and the end of the angle bracket, type a space, and you can get put a class, okay, and you can put the name of the class, for example, page hyphen, okay, wrapper. You can see that is the correct way to write code, okay, if you want to add a div. And what you can do with the divs, what is the idea? You have to think div is a box. For example, if we want to create a container, and on that container we want to add a color as a background or an image, or for example, we want to create a circle, uh, that is the idea of the div to add content inside and then you can lay out and you can add style using the CSS. But what I would like to show you, and I don't know if you know this, there is one code hint that you can use in order to insert a div, which is pretty cool. The only thing that you have to do is you have to decide if you want a class or an ID. A class pretty much is something that you can use many times and ID is something that you, generally speaking, you can use just one time. But in this case, I'm gonna insert a class. In that case, just type period, and I'm gonna put here, for example, page hyphen wrapper, and then just hit the key tab. If I do that, 
and then you can see automatically Dreamweaver gonna type for you div class page wrapper and gonna close the div. It's pretty helpful to work like this. It's pretty fast. In that case, you don't have to use any panel in Dreamweaver. You can just write code by hand pretty fast. All right, then just type return, return with the up arrow, go up, and then type another tab to go inside and to indent the element that we will need inside. By the way, why create this? The div is necessary because this is going to be the box, the general container, the page wrapper of all my elements. All right, and then I would like to divide my website on three principal elements. One is going to be the header. The header, okay, I'm gonna put the banner and the navigation bar inside the header. Then the main content, okay, I'm gonna put all these articles and section, and then the footer. All right, if I go here first, I'm gonna put the header, and header is not a div, okay? Header is just a HTML element, it's part of the language of HTML. You know, on HTML, for example, we have H1, okay, I'm gonna hit tab, and um, this is the title, if you type H1, you will see a big bulky text here on the design view, okay? Same thing is with header, okay? With header, the H1 exists as a part of the HTML code and header exists as well, okay? It's the way that you can lay out a website. You can indicate this is the header. And that is good for order. It's a good practice. And also it's good for um, search engine optimization. The SEO is good for Google. All right, I'm gonna type header and then tab. And you can see the header is going to be the content of my header. I'm gonna type enter, enter, up arrow, and tab again. And here inside the header, if you see, I need two elements. One is going to be my banner, and the other, the navigation bar. In that case, the banner is not a HTML element. You have to create a div. In that case, I'm gonna put here period. Okay, I'm gonna call this one banner. And I like to call this one, for example, banner home because let's say i would like the same thing um, over and over across my website but i would like to change the image i prefer to call banner home banner about banner contact something like that and then just press tab okay and you have the div class banner home and inside here i'm gonna select return return go one up tab again and what we have to do we have to insert this title this key web all right what i have to do i'm gonna type h1 tab and here I have to write this ski web. I'm gonna type ski web. This is going to be the text that you will see there and then we are going to put the picture as a part of the background of the banner home. All right, the header is ready with the banner. Then position the mouse here. Can you see the cursor is blinking at the end of the div. If I click here, you can see where the banner start and where the banner finish position here and do one enter. Because I'm gonna insert the navigation bar right beneath, okay, right beneath the banner. If you see on my design, you can see the banner and right beneath you have this menu, which is here as well. And here I'm gonna type just nav because this is a HTML element. It's the same like header, body, header, h1, nav, all those are HTML element, part of the HTML language. And just type tab, and then return, return, go up, tab again. And here I am going to insert all the menus that I need. And listen, it's a good practice and it's in standard to use an order list, people call bullets, okay, when you use a menu bar. Instead to put, for example, div menu or div navigation, something like that, it's a good practice to use bullets. How do you can work with bullets point? Okay, what you have to do, first you have to select an order list. But in this part, do not follow me because I'm gonna explain you first. I have to put here an order list, okay? That is a UL, I'm gonna select tab, and then enter, enter, go up, tab, and then I have to insert list items, LI, tab. Then I have to insert another list item, LI, tab. Okay, you can see, and so on. That is the idea, and you can see the bullets are there. And, and here inside, I have to insert an anchor point or a link, a hyperlink. I'm gonna insert A, just the letter A, and hit tab. 
and can you see you have the reference and for example this is going to go to the index.html and the text that you will see is going to be for example home and you can see the link is there and then with CSS we'll convert we're going to remove the bullet point we're going to change the color the blue we're going to remove the underline and we will convert this on a menu that's going to look like my Photoshop file something like this you can see that is the standard but this is a lot of code that you have to write okay instead to write like this I'm going to show you one trick first I'm going to type ul because I need one ul then angle bracket, then list item, and then multiply, use the asterisk for how many menus do you want? In this case, I need five, and then angle bracket again, and then A, which is the anchor. You can see it's pretty cool, and then just hit the key tab. And look at that, automatically you will see the nav inside the UL, inside the LI, you can see, you can see the anchor is there. All right, it's pretty cool. Then I have to write the code here inside the quote. There is another thing in Dreamweaver that is pretty cool that you can create multiple cursors. Look at this. You can see the cursor is blinking inside this quote. What you have to do is hold on the command on Mac or the control on PC and click inside this other, okay, and this other quote inside the quote here and inside here. You can see and you have a, that big cursor. Release the command, and I'm going to type, for example, index.html. And then with the right arrow, here in this area, I'm going to type the name of the page that I want to go. But remember, it's here. It's not on this one. You have to go here inside the A. And I'm going to type, for example, home. You see, it's pretty fast to do that. And then the only thing that I have to do, I have to start changing name. If I go to my Photoshop, I can see is in this menu I have home about gallery videos and contact okay in that case I'm gonna put here home about gallery videos and contact okay and here you have to put the real name of the page that you will create for example this is going to be the about okay with small caps gallery video or media or video or videos if you want and then the last one is going to be contact okay you can see that is the idea by the way here for example I can put about ski if you want you can use spaces but here do not use spaces okay you can use for example an underscore and then you can put for example ski or you can put it like the camel way Okay, I'm gonna, the first letter of the second word is in capital letters, like a hum. Okay, and then you can put something like that if you want. But I'm gonna put just about, and then here I'm gonna put just about as well. All right, this is the text that you will see here on the left. Okay, and this is just the link. Now it's time to save my document. Go to the file menu and select save. And this document, the name of the home page, the landing page document, have to be index, okay? I'm gonna type index there and then just select save, all right? And then if you see here on the right, you have the index page and here you will see index and then about gallery, video and contact all the pages, that is the idea. All right, I finished my header, okay? With all the elements that I need, I'm gonna go back to my Photoshop. I can see here my header and then on the next part, I need the main content. All right, I'm gonna put my mouse at the end of the word header, type return, and here I'm gonna type main and then tab. And if you see, it's on the same level of header, and then return, return, go up, another tab to put here my first section. What I would like to do here, if you see my design, you can see more here on the desktop view, and this is going to be one section, like a feature images or something like that. In that case, what I need is insert a section, okay? In that case, I'm gonna put section and then tab. Section is a HTML element that is part of the, the HTML language and it's a good practice to use section. Another thing that you can use is articles and you can combine both. You can put articles inside section and section inside articles. 
In this case, this is going to be the section. I'm gonna return, return, okay? And inside this section, I need to insert all these elements. For example, one um, image with this text, another, and another image, okay? That is the idea. And then beneath the, the section, I'm gonna insert two articles, okay? Which is going to be this article one, and then the article two, and then the article three, for example, okay? In that case, I'm gonna put enter, and here I'm gonna put article, tab, and you can see one article there, enter, enter, that is the idea. I'm gonna put my mouse at the end, enter, another article, tab, enter, enter, and then I'm gonna put the last one, return, article, tab, enter, enter. And you see, I have this section, if you just click on the word section, okay, and then I have one article, two, and three article. In order to add one specific style for that element, you can start adding classes. For example, on this section, I'm gonna put position my mouse here, and I'm gonna type the space, and automatically we were gonna show you the code hint. I'm gonna go here to class, okay, return there, and I'm gonna call this one, for example, feature images. This is going to be all my feature images. And inside, what I would like to do, I would like to add all the images that I want, okay? I'm gonna press tab. And here, I need three of these elements. Okay, let me show you here in this part. I need this image with this text, another image with this text, another image with this text. In that case, what I recommend you to do, okay, and it's a good practice, is to create a wrapper for these two elements. If I create a wrapper, something like this, for this element, and then I can repeat the same wrapper for this element, okay? And then the same wrapper for this element. Then it's pretty easy to lay out all these three elements, okay? If I show you here, you will have the element here, there, and there. Because then if you are using the responsiveness, okay, it's easier to work with the media queries if you have a wrapper for those two elements for every single one. All right, what I have to do, I have to insert a div, okay? And I have to add a class to that div. For example, I'm gonna select here period, and then you can put whatever name that you want. I'm gonna call, for example, image hyphen one, and then just select tab. And you see here, it is the class for the image one that you will use for that part. And here inside, I'm gonna press return, return, and the image one, another tab. And what I have to do here, I have to insert the real image. To insert an image, you have two options. You can insert the image as a part of the background of a div, or you can insert the real image here. In that case, I'm gonna insert the real image to see what happened. What you have to do is just type IMG, and then select tab automatically you will create that code, and here is the source. Before you insert an image, just double check you already saved the document. You can see my document is saved. Here you can see the name is index, and you can see the document is there. And here what you can do is start typing the name of the folder and the location of that image. You can see it's in the images folder, and I would like to use one of these images that I have here. In that case, just type the key I, okay? And you will see the images folder. I'm gonna select return. And then you can navigate for all the images that I have here. For example, I'm gonna select the image one and then just return. The image is huge. We are going to change that, okay? The idea is to just understand the idea, but we are going to change it with the CSS style, the size of those images. But if you want to change the size with HTML, directly here, I'm gonna put, for example, width here, and I'm gonna put here, for example, let's say 100 px, okay? And you can see the image is 100 px, or oh, it's a little small, I'm gonna put, for example, let's say 200 px or something like that. Or in addition, what you can do, you can put percentage. Let's say I'm gonna put here 90%. It's going to cover 90% of the browser width. We are going to work with the size of the image with the CSS, not with the HTML, but it's just to show you what you can do. All right, 
Right beneath the image, I need text, okay? If you see here on my design, I have the image, and right beneath, I have this Lorem Ipsum text. In that case, I'm gonna position my mouse at the end of the image tag, return, okay? And here, I'm gonna type P, angle bracket, Lipsum. Okay, with that automatically, Dreamweaver gonna write a paragraph and then just press the key tab. Okay, and you can see that text is right there. You see, it's pretty cool. Look at that, I have the image one. Look at what I'm planning to do. I'm gonna select all this, I can highlight, okay, from the div class image one up to the div here. Again, if you click on the word image one, you can see where the div start and where the div finish, all right? Just highlight with your mouse, just that. Then copy this. You can right click and select copy. Or you can go here to the edit menu and select copy. Position the mouse at the end of the div, return, and then paste. Then return again and paste. If you see, I have the three images at the same time. And here I have the three images okay, on this area. But it's the same image, what you have to do, here I have this key one, then just highlight this, I'm gonna highlight the number one, and then I'm gonna type, for example, two. And you see, that is the same image that I want. If I go here to my Photoshop, that is the second image. Then I'm gonna go to the next one, I'm gonna type three. Ah, in this case, it's not the same image. Uh, probably is going to be the number five. Yes, it's that one. It's the number five for this other image that you can see on my design. Okay, and I had the image number five. One, two, five. Then everything is ready. And then what I have to do, I have to continue design this area. If you see the image is different, and then I have a title and this text and this background. All this is going to be part of this article, because if you see this, the feature image is the section start here and finish there, okay, in this area. But now I'm going to design this article. If you see my article, I have this color as a part of the background. In that case, I would like to create a class for that article. I'm gonna position my mouse here between the E at the end of the angle bracket, space, I'm gonna use the arrows on my keyboard to go to class and then return. And then I'm gonna call this one, for example, ART stand for article. That is my decision, it's not a standard. You can put whatever name and art, okay? Then hyphen one, because that is article one. And then you can put article home or another name, okay? It's much better, for example, I like to put art one, for example, home because I know that is going to be for the home page. You have another article on the about, gallery contact, it's a good practice to do. indicate then on the CSS, it's easier to see that is part of the home page. All right, and inside the article home, what I need, okay, what I need, I have to insert a div, I'm gonna put my mouse there where it's blinking, click the key tab, okay, and here I have to insert a div. For example, the name of this div, I'm gonna put period. I'm gonna call this one article one, then hyphen home, and another hyphen IMG. And I know this is the image of the article one, which is the, on the home page. That is my way to do this. Uh, sometimes there are people that prefer to put a short code, or you can use another way to type, it's up to you. But for my order, for me, this is easier to understand. And then hit the key tab, and automatically you have a class with the article one and the image inside. We don't have to do return here, because if you notice here on my Photoshop document, I can see the image is on the top, then I have the text here is beneath, there are nothing inside the image, it's just the image itself, and we are going to add the image as a part of the CSS code. Just position the the cursor at the end of the div, hit return, and here I'm gonna insert an H2. I'm gonna type H2, tab, and then I'm gonna type this text, and I know this is part of the article one. Position again the mouse at the end, the cursor, press 
return, and then I'm going to insert a paragraph. If you remember, it's P, angle bracket, and then lipsum, and then tab, and then you have that paragraph. If I go here, you will see the title, the paragraph. You don't see the image because we have to insert the image as a part of the CSS code. All right, I finish with my article one, okay? And then I'm gonna put here the article two, which is going to be different. If I go here to my Photoshop document, I can see I have the article two and three are pretty much the same. In that case, I'm gonna insert here my cursor. I'm gonna type tab, okay? And I'm gonna put a class there, okay? And then I'm gonna put ART. This is going to be article two hyphen home, just to remember that, okay? And here inside, I'm gonna put tab, and I have to insert pretty much the same that we did with the other one. The only difference that I have just text here, I don't have a title, okay? In that case, what I can do, I can just copy this div that I have here. If you want to work faster, okay, I can just copy this one. I'm gonna put this one inside, paste, and the only thing that I have to do is just change the name, and here I'm gonna put there two. Okay, make sense the idea? You can reuse the element. That is faster, you can type, it's, it's up to you. And also I can highlight the text that I have here. I can copy, I'm gonna put my mouse at the end of this image, return, and then I can paste. And you see, I have the article two, okay, with the article two images. And then the only thing that I have to do here, I can copy all these element that I have here inside the article two. I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna position my mouse inside this other article, tab, and then paste there, okay? And instead article two, this is going to be article three. And in addition, I have to add a class to this third article, position the mouse there, space, class. I'm gonna put article three, just to remember that, and it's part of the home page. Can you see? Okay, the idea, I'm gonna repeat that. We have the article one with a div. I'm gonna place an image inside with the title and the paragraph. With the article two, I have the article two, the class for the div. Then I have the div, okay, for the article two home image, and then the paragraph. And the same thing here, okay? That is the thing that you can do. And the last element, I'm gonna position my mouse here at the end of the main. Okay, I'm gonna hit return, and I'm gonna put here footer, and then tab, okay? And here on the footer, I'm gonna put information, I'm gonna just select return, return, go one like this, and for example, you're gonna put the copyright or other element or other information. You see, that is the idea of all the HTML that we need. We are going to add more classes, more IDs, and other elements, but this is just the base, okay? On the following video, I'm gonna show you how you can add design and how you can convert all the things that you have here on HTML and how you can add CSS and then you will see the layout like what you see here in Photoshop. All right, guys. Okay, guys, I hope you like this video. See you on the next one. Bye.